Welcome to fear. No, not that fear. Now this is an interesting level because there's lots of wide open spaces again. Which, as I've said before, is nice for Doom players. Because it gives us these things called options. There's also a ton of ammo on this level, which is really, really nice. And at the very end of the level, we'll be able to pick up a backpack so we can kind of retrace our steps and get a whole bunch of ammo that way too. There's a lot of guys to mow down. There are 96 according to the handy dandy thing, and that is a Baron. We've been seeing a lot of them lately. I should actually be using the plasma ammo more often. And since we have the BFG from that other level, I could theoretically be using that too. But as I've said before, the BFG requires you to be very close in terms of space to what you're shooting in order to be very effective. And I don't feel like getting up too close to some of these guys. Unfortunate that I didn't telefrag him. But you can't have everything. But I am not in too good shape here. If anyone ever told you to be careful with teleporters, really listen to them. And I'm going to take this opportunity right now and say, be careful with teleporters. Now we need the yellow key to get into the exit. And the yellow key we can see is over there. But that'll take us probably back into that big room full of people. Which, as we have learned, is not the best place to be. And I'm going to switch back over to the shotgun again for a little while. Actually, that room is fairly empty now. So it's not too bad. But there's still plenty of mopping up to do. Thankfully, this is not Doom 2. Doom 2 has the Arch Vile, or the Arc Vile, which can resurrect enemies that leave bodies around. Now, this is nice for scoring reasons, because you can get more than 100% kills, but it's bad for many other reasons, because you just waste all of your ammo. Switch back to the shotgun again. Mm -hmm. 
more bolt sponges. But plenty of bolts around. And I'm gonna go ahead and not go in the exit, but pick up our hidden backpack here. Go around, take care of the rest of the enemies, and pick up a lot of ammo, because this is gonna be the level where we'll stock up for the rest of this campaign. Some people really like the challenge of pistol starts at the beginning, but... I like the idea of treating the whole campaign as a challenge, because that allows you to be clever about which sections you use lots of ammo on and which ones you save on, and kind of a metagame outlook on it. Similar to how in CSGO they worry about buy rounds and eco rounds, economy rounds that is. Sneak up on these guys from behind. Here's what I was hearing. And I'm still hearing more stuff. Somebody over there. Somebody in that big room, it seems. But not here. Perhaps on the other side. A lot of wood paneling here, too. Now, again, these levels were all post-Doom 2. A lot of the Doom 2 styles are present. Obviously, the enemies weren't Doom 2 enemies, but... We have some stuff that... I'm not sure if it's made an appearance yet, but they have fast doors. Which is a Doom 2 thing, and they also have... Sectors that activate with certain keys. So you have a switch that will only be able to be pressed when you have the blue key. There's another secret around here, I'm just trying to remember where it is. Somewhere here... ...is a piece of paneling that does not look like the rest. And has some cool stuff in it. There we go. That was some cool stuff. And we can also see a wonderful amount of armor over there. I'll pick that up and then after we are all set with all those things, we can call it a level. Alright, I think I have as much as I can get. I have all I can remember. That was useful. Oh, actually it was useful. And that is a secret level. Despite being called Fear, I was not very afraid of that level. The one before it and the one before that, however, were a different story.